Hello and welcome to another video on CLED preparation on Lavi Advantage. In this video, we'll be discussing about the event structures. Please pause the video and try to read the question and try to determine what will be the correct answer. Here, the question says your VI must count the number of times the increment button is pushed between the between when the run arrow and then quit button are pressed. So this means until you do not press the quit button, you should be able to increment the value. So let's go through different options here. In the first option, the timeout is given as 5 seconds. That means even if you don't press anything between that, it will go to the timeout state after 5 seconds, which means it will not wait for the user to press quit. So A is incorrect. If you look into the option B, option B looks very similar with option C. As you can see, both of the options are going to work. Uh, but it also depends upon the mechanical action of the button. So in this case, the best option will be C. But we'll also go through the option T. So in option C, whenever you press the increment button, the value in the C register will be incremented. And when you press the quit, it is going to stop the VI. So if you look into the option D, as you can see, there is no increment function over there, that means you cannot increment the value, which means T is incorrect. So our answer will be C. I hope you like this video. Please like, share, and comment on this video. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for future LabVIEW videos. I'll see you in the next video for the CLAD preparation series.